pangalawang method ng pag-solve ng linear system ay yung tinatawag na substitution method. Now, let's say meron tayong x is equal to 3 at meron tayong function na 2x plus 3. Kapag sinubstitute natin yung x which is 3 doon sa ating expression, we'll have 2 times 3 plus 3 na kapag in-evaluate natin at sinimplify will be equal to 9. So, ito yung basic substitution rule. Now, for today, gagamitin natin yung rule na yan sa pag-solve ng isang linear system. So for our example number one, we need to solve the system of linear equation by substitution method given that the first line is 2x plus 3y is equal to 19 and the second line is y equal to 2x plus 1. Now, paano ba gagamitin yung substitution method sa pag-solve ng linear system na ito? So given this linear system, ang una nating gagawin is pipili tayo between line 1 and line 2 kung ano ang gagamitin natin pang substitute doon sa una or sa pangalawang equation. Now, dito sa linear system na ito, nakikita nyo at mapapansin nyo na yung second line natin, meron na siyang variable na nag-iisa sa isang side ng equation equal to 2x plus 1. So definitely, ang gagawin natin is gagamitin natin line 1 na ito para isubstitute dun sa value ng y dito sa line 1. So yan ang una natin gagawin. So yung step ng pag-solve ng linear system, eh kailangan mamimili muna kayo kung ano yung mas convenient na gamitin para sa substitution method. So yung step 1 natin, since napili na natin na gagamitin natin si line 1 at substitute natin si line 2 dun sa value ng y, Doon sa line 1, meron tayo ngayong 2x plus 3y is equal to 19, wherein yung y ay papalta natin ng 2x plus 1. So, ang magiging equation natin ngayon is 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 1, which is the value of y, equal to 19. Now, kung mapapansin nyo dun sa ating uh, unang example, yung substitute natin sa isang variable ay isang real number lang. Pero ngayon, isang algebraic expression na yung substitute natin dun sa value ng y. So, ang magyayari ngayon is simplify natin itong 3 parenthesis 2x plus 1 by distributing 3 to 2x and 1. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 6x plus 3. So, ikokopyahin natin yung mga natitirang terms. So, meron tayo ngayon 2x plus 6x plus 3 is equal to 19. At by combining like terms, since 2x and 6x can be added, meron tayo ngayong 8x plus 3 equal to 19. Now, since ang goal natin is to solve for the value of x, we need to get rid of the numerical value al um, alongside with x para makuha natin yung ating x value. So, subtract 3 on both sides para ma-eliminate si 3 and we'll have 8x equal to 16. Now, to get rid of 8 by x, i-divide natin ngayon yung dalawang terms ng 8. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 16 divided by 8 which is equal to 2. So, therefore, yung ating x value sa ating linear system is equal to 2. Now, ito yung ating step 1. Yung susunod nating step since meron na tayong value ng x, kailangan naman natin hanapin yung value ng y. So, kung ang ating second line is y equal to 2x plus 1, gagamitin natin ngayon si second line para makuha yung value ng y o yung numerical value ng y when x is equal to 2. So we have y is equal to 2x plus 1. Replace x by 2 na nasolve natin kanina. So meron tayong 2 times 2 plus 1 which gives us 4 plus 1 which is 5. So since nakuha na natin yung value ng x at saka ng value ng y, makukuha na natin yung solution ng ating linear system which is 2 and 5. Now, kung matatandaan nyo doon sa graphing method, ang solution ng linear system is basically given two lines. Let's say ito yung line 1 at ito yung line 2. Kapag ka nag-intersect sila, yung point of intersection ng dalawang linya na yan, ang tinatawag nating solution ng linear system. At yan yung nahanap natin ngayon without graphing our linear system, but by this particular method called substitution method. Now, let's have another example. So yung linear system naman natin ngayon, meron tayong x plus 2y is equal to 17 and x is equal to 3y plus 2. Tulad ng ginawa natin sa example number 1, we need to decide kung ano yung line na gagamitin natin para sa substitution method. And in this case, mapapansin nyo na yung x is by itself dun sa second line. So ang gagawin natin sa step 1 is gamitin si x plus 2y is equal to 17 which is yung line 1 
para gawide or makuha yung value ng y dito sa equation na ito. So, ang gagawin natin is we will replace x by 3y plus 2, which is our second line. And by combining like terms, we'll have 5y plus 2 is equal to 17. Kasi pwede natin pagsamahin si 3y at si 2y. Now, since 5y plus 2 is equal to 17, pwede na natin isolve yung value ng y by subtracting 2 on both sides, giving us with 5y is equal to 15. Now, by dividing both sides by 5, yung y will be by itself. So, yung ating unang coordinate will be y is equal to 3. Now, na meron na tayong y is equal to 3, yung second step natin is to find the value of x. Using line 2 dun sa ating linear system, we will replace y by 3, giving us x is equal to 3 times 3 plus 2, which is going to give us x equal to 11. So, since meron tayong value ng x at ng value ng y, yung ating solution sa linear system will be 11 and 3, or yung point of intersection ng line 1 at ng line 2. Now, yung example number 3 naman natin, meron tayo ngayong... Um, 3x plus y is equal to 16, and x minus 3y is equal to 2. And we need to solve this linear equation by substitution method. Now, kung mapapansin nyo dun sa ating linear system sa example number 3, walang variable na nag-iisa. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is mamimili tayo between first line and second line kung ano yung linya na ating uh, imamanipulate para magkaroon tayo ng isang line na y by itself or x by itself. So in this case, napili ko si line 1. So kung ang line 1 ko is 3x plus y is equal to 16 at yung line 2 ko is equal to x minus 3y is equal to 2 wherein hindi ako makakapag-substitute ng uh, anumang expression doon sa line kasi hindi siya nag-iisa, pipiliin ko si line 1 para ma-isolate ko si y dito sa equation na to. So kapag napili ko si line 1, I'll get rid of 3x by y by subtracting 3x on both sides. Now, yung ating line 1 na 3x plus y is equal to 16, ay y is equal to 16 minus 3x na. So, ngayon, mapapansin nyo na yung aking variable ay nag-iisa na dito sa aking equation. So, pwede ko nang gamitin yung substitution method. So, yan yung kaibahan ng example number 3 sa example number 1 and number 2. Kasi dito, kailangan ka muna mag-isip at mamili kung ano yung mas convenient na gamitin para i-manipulate mo yung inyong linear equation. So, ngayon na yung ating line 1 is na y is equal to 16 minus 3x. Yung line 2 ay hindi hindi natin binago. So, sa second step, gagamitin natin si line 2 to solve for the value of x. Kasi, pwede na nating baguhin or substitute si y doon sa value ng ating y, which is 16 minus 3x right now. So, by, subs by simplifying our polynomial, by distributing 3 to 16 minus 3x, we'll have x minus 48 plus 9x equal to 2. By combining like terms, yung 10x or yung x at 9x pwede natin combine. So, we'll have 10x minus 48 equal to 2. And by getting rid of negative 48, adding 48 on both sides, we'll have 10x is equal to 50, where x is equal to 5. Now, yan yung ating second step at nakuha na natin yung value ng x. Now, hahanapin naman natin ngayon is yung value ng y. And using line 1 na na-manipulate natin kanina, which is y equal to 16 minus 3x, papalitan natin ngayon si x ng ating value here, which is 5. So, we have y equals 16 minus 3x, where x is equal to 5. And by simplifying our expression, y is equal to 1. So, ang ating linear system ay my solution na 5 and 1. Now, paano naman kung instead of choosing line 1, e pinili natin si line 2? Magkakaroon kaya ng mas ng pagbabago dun sa ating solution sa linear system. So, ito yung ipapakita ko dun sa ating susunod na example. So, meron tayong parehas na equation. 3x plus y is equal to 16 and x minus 3y is equal to 2. But this time, gagamitin ko si line 2 at i-isolate ko si negative 3y para meron akong x is equal to an expression. So, yung line 1 ko will still be the same, but my line 2 will now change and it will be x equal to 3y plus 2. So, ngayon, yung line 2 naman yung aking minanipulate. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung step 1 ko, gagamitin ko si 3x plus y is equal to 16 at papalitan ko si y ng 3y plus 2. And by, I mean, si x ng 3y plus 2. And by distributing... 
3 to 3y plus 2, I'll have 9y plus 6 plus y equal to 16. Tulad ng ginawa ko kanina, I will combine like terms. So, meron tayo ngayong 10y plus 6 is equal to 16, which when we get rid of 6, meron tayo ngayong 10y is equal to 10. By dividing both sides by 10, y is now equal to 1. So, since meron tayong value ng y, hanapin naman natin si value ng x by plugging in the value of y which is 1 dun sa ating second line. So, meron na tayo ngayong x is equal to 3 times 1 plus 2 na pag Sinimplify natin will be x equal to 3 plus 2, giving us x is equal to 5. So yung ating solution para sa system of linear equation na ito will be 5 and 1. Na parehas lang ng sagot na ginawa natin dun sa kaninang method, pero iba nga lang yung linya na pinili natin. So yan yung tinatawag na substitution method. Minsan, madali at minsan.